Hi dear, our today's topic is uh, how reactants react. As we know from the our previous video that AOTD AP concept, today we understand about the reactants and for that point of view it is very much necessary to know about that why it is called reactants, how it is react how it can be reacting that things we have to represent so for that reasons this particular video is there so the reactants react with something is there any chemical reactions or any other kinds of react reactivity is there so reactants means uh, basically we know that uh, the capacitance and uh, inductance we can say these and these are the reactants we can say that these and these these are these are the reactants but the things is that as these and these are reactants why it is called why it is called the reactants I just go for one example through that we can understand try to understand why it is called reactants and through that there is some complete clear concept is coming from us uh, with us you show there is a capacitance you show there is a capacitance and in case of this capacitance I am giving you three signal this is the signal one this is the signal two and this is the signal three okay so this is signal one so this is signal 1 this is signal 2 and this is signal 3 okay and now I am asking you this question that uh, the probability of passing of this three signal which one is higher for this particular capacitance how it is related with the reactance I am coming from that first you say there is a capacitance and in case of this capacitance there is is there is a capacitance and in case of this capacitance I am introducing these three signal first one is this second one is this third one is this first second and third so first one is this second one is this and third one is this and probability of passing through this capacitance which signal is high my dear students and my dear that we have already know that that XC that XC equals to 1 by 2 pi f c x equals to 1 by 2 pi f c we know about these things x equals to 1 by 2 pi f c this is the reactance for the capacitance this is the reactance for the capacitance here this C is the capacitive value and F is the frequency of the signal which is passing through this capacitance. So what I am representing again I am repeating this C is the capacitance and F is the frequency which is passing which frequency is passing through this pass, which signals frequency which is passing through this capacitance. Okay, It is very easy you just understand these things now you say there is a three signal one is this another is one is this one is this two is this three is this so for this particular three signals the passing capability of this particular capacitance through this capacitance which one is higher i think you can try to understand at presence now you are storming in your brain think about that that what is the answer actually what is the answer you are think about these things I can understand yes now I'm coming to this point you go through with this particular if term if is the frequency and try to find out the frequency of this signal this signal and this signal signal number one signal number two and signal number three for this particular three signals you show the frequency is higher in this particular case much compared to this this frequency is much more lower and here the frequency is zero okay 
so if the f is high so if i'm considering this particular equations is like that that xc equals to 1 by 1 by 2 pi f f is the frequency of the signal which is passing through the particular capacitance so if is f is become high if f is become high then xc is become low xc is become low i think you can got this point if f become high then xc become low if i increase the f then xc automatically decreases yes very nice that means that means in case of this particular three signal as there is f equals to zero as there is no frequency in the case of this particular signal as it is the dc signal there is some sort of f and there is the f is maximum so the probability of passing this particular signal is much more higher because f is very high at that time x is low and moderate passing capability of this because here the f is less than this so for that reasons that reasons the frequency of passing through this particular xc xc is low for from that so another very interesting conclusion is that here if the f in case of dc that f the frequency is equals to zero in case of dc the frequency f equals to zero if in case of this dc frequency f equals to zero then what happened what happened if the f equals to zero if i put the value that is equals to zero so i am just representing it's like that way this xc is become like a like infinite if f is zero it's become infinite so xc become infinite that means xc become open circuited concept xc is representing the open circuited concept so for that point of view we can say that this particular signal is not possible to pass this particular capacitance that's why dc is not passing it is the dc signal you show so dc is not capable to passing through the capacitor through this capacitance so that's why we can say we can conclude this particular video like that way that that uh, that capacitors is a cast capacitors is actually the ac passer ac passer and dc blocker capacitor is a ac passer and the dc blocker specifically now the things is that capacitor is a ac passer and dc blocker these things we can understand in here the things is the same the it is the vice versa in case of inductance everything are vice versa because at that time the xl equals to 2 pi fl so from this particular video we can understand the capacitor is a ac passer and dc blocker and from that point of view you show this particular capacitance is say the reactance why because it is react with the f value it's react with this particular f value if the f is change automatically the xc is change so xc is the capacitance is react on the purpose of this f so for that point of view we can say that it is it is the reactance capacitance is a reactance and also we can say the inductance is also a reactance i hope you can understand and enjoy this particular video thank you very much for watching